Welcome to Jay Berry Acts. Today, we're going to react to Season 4, Episode 10 of Legacies, the halfway point of the final season, entitled, Story, Story of My Life. life. I don't know the song lyrics. Uh, if you're new here, feel free to subscribe for daily content. If there's a day, there's a reaction. Links, description box down below, Patreon, Twitch stream, everything in between. Jerry does his best work behind the scenes. Last episode, uh, the ending felt weird. It felt abrupt, but it was still nice. We get Josie kind of going off on a solo quest here uh, to rediscover herself, essentially, uh, leaving behind her sister and Finch. No real... Like, farewell uh, in that moment. We don't know what's going to happen in, in the upcoming episodes, but no real farewell between her and Lizzie outside of, like, a brain thing, uh, which feels a little off. And then with Lizzie, she gets killed. Yeah. Fucking dies. But she had vampire blood in her system. Just like Sebastian always told her to. And uh, so now she's fine. And she's a heretic? That's the name, right? A witch? A witch pyre? A vamich? Vagine witch? I don't know. Uh, we're just going to put Jerry behind the scenes. Let me shut the fuck up for a minute. I'm just I'm just out here rambling. And uh, let's go ahead and get into this. Also, sorry, my cat was yelling at me. She wants love. Give me a second. Well, if she falls, you're going to see a black and white fuzz ball in front of the camera. <laughs> Of the ancient well. Oh, not Whitmore College. The name of this majestic site? Hmm. What the real Vartimus? Come now. Your parents spend a great deal of money to send you to this institution. I don't remember what these people look like. Don't forget, we still got that weird buff guy. Was the top day. Remember how smooth the Vampire Diaries did that intro? Where they went into like a college and there was a class in the background being taught and they kind of name dropped some people but it was presented for the class in their educational study, and it ended up being the main thing. Little things like that make for good television. It doesn't matter if it's about supernatural shit, uh, crime, law, fucking drug cartels, dragons, uh, taxis. It doesn't matter. It makes for good TV. Are they built? Does anyone here believe such things are possible? Yeah, I did. Or are you all taking this class simply to mock me? I believe. Oh my goodness, this is my, I don't know why I thought this was a flashback. This whole time I'm like, what are we, what are we here for? This is current day. Hope, plus bro, Hope's fucking fake out. That shit was perfect. Cause on one hand, like, oh, I'm really pissed off. We're only 10 episodes in and her humanity's already back on. But at the same time, like, okay, but. Remain here. We are the leaders of our respective factions. We must decide what to do about our troubling new guest. You're the leader of the factions because there's literally four other students that they give screen time to outside of the extras. So we don't really have a choice. Oh, ben. That's his name. Wouldn't Finch be the... Never mind. Never mind. I'm going to let it play out. Does not put Duly noted. Duly noted Dave Batista. So this new guy's name is Ben. Caleb's gone, which means Ethan's probably also gone as well. So we got to figure out what the fuck a Ben is. Good. In. Punch new kids in the face. I totally get distrusting outsiders, but I also think this place is way better for having Cleo here. I appreciate Jed reflecting on his past actions, even if just for a moment. You can tell in his voice he's a little bit uh, remorseful. But if you're the Alpha, what's Finch doing for the pack? Is she just there to rah rah him? You know, like, okay. Love was definitely the greatest destroyer of all, trust me. Perhaps you should trust me instead. Dr. Doolittle's desperate, and his poor judgment <laughs> is going to be the death of us all. Oh, fuck. Almost threw up. Ted? Dead. Yeah, Ted. Uh -oh. So maybe you should wake up. <sighs> dead, 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 dead. Somebody else stabbed him with a bunch of fucking spikes, bro. Porcupine! <sighs> they got to fight Sonic. Took him. That's... Ain't this about a fucking bitch? Story of my life. Oh, get it! But the gods of a dozen different cultures, maybe more. He's so excited. I love him for it. Expert, but gods don't exist. Nor do vampires. 
at least as far as most people are concerned. He's got a fucking point right there, girl. But Extraordinary! Someone's inside! And miraculously, they're alive! <laughs> Trust me, it'd be much more of a miracle if Lizzie Saltzman were dead. Why would you oh. give a first and What's last that? name? You're supposed to be so brilliant, you tell me. She gave you a big old hint, brother, brother. She's a fucking... Can we speed this up? Telic marble should do the trick. It's, it's good because, like, I'm annoyed with hope. Like, okay, I don't know how else to explain this, and maybe you guys can... Uh, uh, this isn't really... I don't know. Let me just say it. So, like, her character is fucking annoying, okay? Yeah, my humanity's off. Like, she's telling you her humanity's off, and she's, she's parading that fact, and it's annoying, but it's good. Like, it's entertaining. Do you see what I'm saying? Uh, because I'm a fucking dork, the reference I have is as a wrestler, when somebody is a bad guy, when somebody's a heel, and they're doing everything in their power to make you fucking hate them. At a certain point, bad guys become beloved, right? Because they're different. They're against the grain. You can, you, the tale is old as time. You see somebody like a character along the lines of a Venom, for example. Uh, who is a bad guy but becomes an anti-hero. Or you see somebody like a villain that's like Thanos, who's right in the things that he says, uh, more so in the MCU than in the comics, but he becomes beloved, almost. So you have a, a bad guy who is out here doing everything to annoy you, but it's entertaining. So while her character is annoying... That's the purpose of her character right now is to be annoying. Uh, Danielle is not annoying. She's a phenomenal actor. Hope in this moment with her humanity off is fucking exhausting. But I love it because she is a full-blown tribrid with her humanity off. Then there's Klaus. Like Klaus would do despicable things, but it was more of like, that's my boy right there. Like he's a badass. Or when Stefan and his humanity off or Damon has humanity off, it's like, man, fuck this. This sucks, but it's so good to watch. It's like, it's spoilers for the vampire diaries coming up in the next couple seconds. It's like when Stefan killed Enzo. So many people in the comment section were like, this is the moment I turned off the vampire diaries. This is when I stopped for me is like as despicable of an act as that was so good because his humanity is off he has no remorse what it's so good uh i'm not saying hope is at that level right now but her character's annoying and it's doing what it's supposed to do and i find great enjoyment in it i said all that to say that last sentence so yeah all right back to it he said pentatonics would work i'm gonna kill you too and hopefully Elizabeth and I will be gone. The real Fartimus just seems like such a fucking sweetheart, bro, when it wasn't Ryan Clark in a paper bag suit. Uh, so you're putting her in just another version of the therapy box. Okay. Well, you can. Landon, Josie. Klaus, shit, keys. What's with the rush? Lizzie. Where's everybody going? I may have inspired Finch to take the entire school on an impromptu field trip. It will help her too. She's been here's a bunch of extras in the background. You've never seen a day in your life that haven't even never even attended the school. As soon as Josie left. Well, my voice cracked like it. But did you? Why bother? We're living it. Oh, that thing was fucking Maybe deep inside your neck. Night you said something about monsters were the least of our problems. Because they're nothing compared to gods. <sighs> Sounds epic. I do, I do kind of like if we are going to traject ourselves into the last 10 episodes being about gods and things. It makes sense because we know that there is a peaceful form of the afterlife like heaven. We That's set in stone in this universe. So if we want to take that route, like I'm on board. Tell me more. The cuck... The Caucasus Mountain from the land of Caucasus. Oh my goodness, that was a real thing. I didn't know that. The Caucasus Mountains. 
Caucasian from the land of Caucasus. Odin. And I was the proof Loki. of that love, which explains my invincibility in battle. Oh my God, he's balder. I may not have been fast enough. Elizabeth. <laughs> that is hamstrings. Elizabeth, can you hear me? Hey, cut that girl's throat open right now. Jen, she got a feed, Jen, I'm sorry. Oh, fuck. Oh, pardon me. Why do you look like a... <laughs> Dude. Oh, I'm so gross. Do you have the time? And I'm still hungry. That's new. Okay. Is he actually fucking done dotted dead dead? Or did you just take a little bit of bloody blood? Because I'm fucking concerned, baby boy. Uh, you can see my fangs. I got fangs. <laughs> well, lucky for me, becoming a vampire has a heightened your stupidity because <laughs> now you're stuck here too. What it's heightened is my urge to do what I should have done in the first place. Kill you. <laughs> I'm practically an expert on mental prisons by now, so I'll give you a hint. Getting out is always about getting to the root of your problems. Yeah, find a key with your own name on it or something. And the truth is, you've yeah. always been my problem. Ooh, look at that little baby one. That's all it takes. That's pretty clever, actually. I give her credit for that. Yeah. Including cute ones. Yeah. Have fun, Hope. Sucks to suck, don't it? Oh, this is impossible. Oh, we could work with that. Right? <sighs> Welcome back, Dad. I know what I would do if someone I love was hurt. I don't have the answer. And I'm not, like, the best at riddles. If you gave me ten riddles, I'd probably get, like, hopefully three right. You know? Yeah. Hurting. I I'd march right up to the gods' palace or whatever and be like, dude... Are you my dad or what? That's exactly what I did. Are you my dad? Hopefully my father for the first time. Father! But his help. He looks like he'd play like a fucking something. I don't know, a Greek god, Clash of the Titans type shit. I mean, he's not as chiseled and as fucking beefy as like a Henry Cavill, you know, but I could see him playing something. I for a hundred percent. He's got the he's got the look for it. Real bimbo, or you know, himbo. I claimed my birthright. Stole it, actually. Can't imagine that one over well. It did not. Do you know what separates men from gods? Togas? Magic. Magic that I hoped would save Ash's life. But humans have magic too, witches and warlocks. Oh, it's a fireball. He stole the flame. Uh, Prometheus. Maybe? But it was too late. It's too late to apologize. I wish I could get emotional, but I just met these people. Try for that neck vein. Um, I returned with the fire. This world would come to know as magic. Primordial fire. Yeah. Hey, while we figure out how to. Y'all gonna fall in love. A new home. Yeah. A new love. A new ash. You got my vote is what I'm saying. I'm like 50% intrigued and 50% like. Huh? See what I mean? I literally can't kill her. Sire? You drank her blood, didn't you? You drank her blood before you died, and now it's your sire, and you can't harm her. It's cool. You don't have to answer. Hope you don't get hit in the fucking heart, bro. You kill MG, I'll turn this shit off. Not as long as your heart is beating. Unless it's a good turn or a good kill. Excuse me. Damn, Ben. You could have gotten yourself killed. Actually, I couldn't. He can't die. Ted said you voted against me, so why do you care? Old well, habits die hard, I guess. Ah! 
Run! Bro, fighting Sonic the Hedgehog is so goddamn crazy. I'm a heretic. The vibrate to your tribrid incendia. A vibrid. That's what. <laughs> What Alabama say, you know, if you have a brother and a sister, instead of a, you know, inbred, you're a, a bybred, bybred, or if you have moldy bread, you throw it away, bybred. I'll be here the rest of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Feel free. For little tiddly doos and gems like that. All right. What is happening? It was my blood. Um, Which I'm guessing means your sire to me. Banana, how to hit it, la 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 la. Get fucked. Get absolutely fucked. Oh, that's so good. Guess who's sire to me now? Baby. Very first sire, too. Just when I thought this day couldn't get any worse. Where'd the artifact go? I don't know. You left it alone with fucking Jin it's Ben Sim again. It's over 500 pounds. That's not the only thing missing. But Stoner Chick's gone, even though I compelled her to stay. Well, she didn't actually like compel her. Compulsion. Back to the school at once. The monster squeals are made of. <laughs> oh my god, he's back. <laughs> you got too many fucking teeth, bro. Oh, this can't kill me, but it can sure as hell kill you. Go! Not our style of leadership, right? Speaking of style. Oh my god, I was bourbon. I almost fucking threw up. He just came out here front get that thing. Sorry, tiny angry dude, but you don't want to know the things that you think you do. I want no part of it. Not an option, apparently. You got a bybrid and a tribrid. Well, it's time to get high. I'm gone. All right. All right. This show's an emotional roller coaster because, like, one second you're like, oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 and not a good O. Oh, boy. I mean, I kind of get it because they're like, oh, Hope's a tribrid. She's the strongest thing in creation. So now we need a loophole, which is the oak tree. And they're like, we need an actual another loophole. So let's just bring in gods. Which is like the next and like last step. But you know, like, you know, you know, I guess, I guess that's the only thing I can actually say. You're not the smartest dude. So, okay, my first guess was Balder. And the reason I said Balder was because he was like invulnerable to pain and he couldn't die. But then once he said he stole the fire, you go from Norse back over to Greek and, um, Prometheus, Flame Stealer, solid. It's also a really good movie. Uh, what you should do is, if you've never watched Prometheus, you should watch it. And don't pay attention to the opening credits and don't read any information. And just go into the movie not knowing what it's about. I think it's the best way to experience it. Spoilers, if you haven't watched it, um getting to know that it's a part of the alien series was super interesting. Uh, when I first watched it, when it came out in like 2012, 2013, I don't remember ever seeing Ridley Scott's name, but I didn't know directors at then. So I just thought this was a new movie and it was, it was really good. And uh, it wasn't as good as I, I was hoping it would be, but it was good. And then I rewatched it recently followed by the sequel, which I believe was alien covenant, which was better than Prometheus. But Prometheus was a solid movie. And then, um, Obviously, Alien. Alien's great. Has it aged well? It's personal preference, I think. I still think it's a good movie, but it's not like watching the first Star Wars, like A New Hope. That level of like, holy shit. 
or maybe I was just too sleepy when I rewatched Aliens. And then we watched Romulus, and Romulus was great. So definitely check out Prometheus. There you go. Clinking their tips together. Very little wholesome moment right there. Jed likes that boy. He saw him with his fucking shirt on, shirt off and his nipples out. Uh, I think my major issue, because I don't mind him being Prometheus, and I didn't mind the stoner chick stealing the thing, Jen. I think it was just the flying up into the air thing. Maybe that. Maybe that's what it was. I don't know. I'm, maybe I'm being too harsh. Astral projection. You should probably sit down. A lot's happened on my end. Now we can live our lives forever after ever, like me and Sebastian was going to. If there's one thing I've always been able to do, it's manipulate Milton Grizzly, even in astral projection form. That's like the ugliest thing you've probably ever fucking said. <clears throat> Blue in the face. Bingo. Make a wish. On second thought, hold those drinks. Because we're going to need three wishes instead. <laughs> and you've come to the right place. Careful what you wish for, bro, because your daughter did that, and she don't even fucking remember it. I like that guy. He looks kind of cool. Hashtag bloop. He looks cool. Beep, up, 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 up. There's some shades of greatness in that episode. Genuinely shades of greatness. But, uh... Overall, there's just, you know, I, I really think it was the flying in the air thing. It's the same thing with, but then again, that's hypocritical because I liked, I kind of like Landon's wings. You know, maybe it was the way it was done, like a superhero. Because I like the, the vibe Jen was giving off was really cool, but I just... I think it was just the flying in the air and, and the bad visual effects, which I can't get mad at either because it's just the CW. So we could just we could scratch that as as a as a negative. But sired, you drank from the wrong fucking pool, and now you can't even make your own decisions. So congratulations, Lizzie. Uh, no mention of Joe or anything with Joe in this episode whatsoever. She's off on her mission. No mention of Finch either. In the process, she's supposed to be with the pack, but they don't mention her like at all. Jed kind of falling in love there with Prometheus and MG kind of learning his, trying to find his place still as a leader, learning from Cleo in the process while getting to know what's going on with Lizzie. Vartimus is alive uh, and there's, there's gods among us. So I don't have much to mention on the back end of the episode. We did talk a bunch through it, but there's good, there's bad. I don't think there's really any ugly. But so far, this has still probably been the most enjoyable season. I just wish Hope as the main villain would have been more of a focus for a little longer. But other than that, uh, season four, episode 10 is entitled The Story of My Life. Episode 11, follow the sound of my voice. And I will see you there. Links and everything will be in the description box down below. Playlist up on screen. As always, stay cute, stay hydrated, and I will catch you on the next one.